Hi guys, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and I thought I'd use my handheld camera for this particular thing, or one of them, uh, because uh, my my uh, my uh, videos have not been shaky enough, so I thought I would make it really shaky this time. So I thought I would tell you a few things, uh, a few random things uh, that that are going on. So uh, you know, I've uh, well, let me first thing let me do let me let me do a little minor little minor review of something that I've really enjoyed uh, lately and that is this this is a uh, a, a new uh, camera uh, at least I hadn't seen it out in the market much in my area who knows it might have been in other areas but it's a Kodak Pix Pro SP1 sorry about the shadows here not very good lighting I'm about to get some lighting in this room uh, so, uh, and, but I really like this thing. It, it's really odd. It's got an odd shape. Uh, it, it has a view screen that's on the side, which is kind of weird. But it also, what it, it does have is it has a uh, Wi-Fi. So, you know, like all of the, like all of the, the quote-unquote action cameras now, you can actually monitor it from your uh, smartphone. And most of us have smartphones these days. Uh... Even those of us who aren't smart, I'd raise my hand, but I got my uh, camera in it. <laughs> I have smartphones. Uh, so, uh, you know, I've got this, and it comes with some bundled accessories, and not a bad little selection of accessories. Sorry about the light again, let's see if I can get this popped open here. So, you know, it's got a you know, pretty good selection of accessories here. It's got a bike mount. It's got a helmet strap mount. It's got some adhesive mounts here that you could put in your car or something, something else. So it's pretty cool. And what I really enjoy about this camera is it has a very, very good, uh, very it does a very, very good job. It gives a very good, clear picture. And I like the fact it's chunky. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just like the shape of it. But a lot of people might not. Uh, but uh, I like it. And it's, it's Kodak. And uh, years and years and years and years and years and years ago, when I was in college, I started out as a art and photography kind of person. Yep, one of those guys. And uh, and uh, uh, we used to call Kodak the, the great yellow god back then, pre-digital. Uh, I don't know if they handled the digital conversion well. I don't think they're dominant in the marketplace anymore. I know they're not dominant in action cams because that's GoPro's world. But, uh, you know, but, you know, this is, this is a nice little, nice little camera. You know, it really is. I don't know if it's ever going to be popular. And, of course, it's never going to knock GoPro off its perch. But it, it, uh, it, does a, it does a pretty good job for me. And I, I really like it. So, anyway, that's my little review of, uh, of that thing. And, by the way, GoPro does have a new, in fact, here's my hero, uh, my GoPro. And uh, you, and I actually have a chest mount for it. I bought the chest mount today. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use it because you know most of the time when I'm doing first person stuff, I'm using my uh, excuse me, I'm using my uh, I'm using my uh, my glasses, my camera glasses, or the handheld. But you know, I thought it's not not that expensive, so I'd get the chest mount. So uh, I just I just have that mounted here. It was on a wristband. A wrist, but it broke. Uh, my fault, and I, I took it off the wrong way, and it it broke for me. So I probably have to get another one. So I used to carry this around with me on my wrist, and then I could just find, make a find, and photo it. Of course, you couldn't do live digs very well with it because you're one-handed again. But it's pretty cool. Anyway, like I said, uh, the this it's a it's the Hero Three. It's the cheapest one, uh, but the Hero Four Black is out now, and it is a monster of a of a of a camera now i don't know if it's a monster performance but boy that price is high for the top one uh was it the the hero 4 black plus or whatever it is i'm not exactly sure the nomenclature but the top one's near 500 dollars. so gopro is now beginning to slip into uh you know into the into the ex into expensive mode in the extreme now so but, uh, you know, I've, I saw some YouTuber that was uh, one of the more popular YouTubers giving a review of it. And they loved it. But this particular U YouTuber likes a lot of things. Uh, I might like it too, but I don't see spending $500 for it. Uh, says the man with too many detectors. In any case, uh, 
I went out today, and uh, you know it'll be on my roundup. But if you ever, if you can see this, it is filthy. This is the Detechnics. Unfortunately, I left my TRX at home, and I used the Detechnics, and it got a real, it got a real muddy uh, baptism. Uh, and so I did go out and, and uh, I did made a few, uh, you know, finds, nothing spectacular, but it's really nothing, uh, you know, I really didn't do it for very long because it was raining late last night and it was misty in the morning and the black clay in this part of North Texas, it will grab anything you dig down there and pull itself up and out. So there was no way I could do any clean digs. So I did not detect long and I gave up for the day. And so, uh, you know, that was going on. And you see this Tesoro box. Uh, I am going to be sending my uh, Cortez back for some service. It's some issues with the uh, wide and narrow notch. So, you know, that's that's something I'll be doing. And I, you know, I've, you know, I got rid of a lot of old coils. And I have a, had a bunch of Umax coils from several machines. And uh, I've still got a bunch of Umax coils. I've got four or five Umax coils, five Umax coils. I had a lot more than that, which didn't make sense. So I got rid of a few of them. And, uh, and uh, you know, when I bought the other Umax, they actually sent me some replacement, uh, replacement upper shafts. I don't think I've ever seen replacement upper shafts. So I've got, so I've got a few of those. So that's pretty interesting, too. And down here, uh, you know, you, you saw the M6 lately. And I never really bought many whites machines. I had Spectre V3i. It's a, it's a different kind of whites machine here. But, uh, you know, uh, I never, the, the, it always looked clumsy to me. And I, and I, I apologize for that. Because it's very lightweight and very well balanced. You know, the, the box on the back is, is old school. And the, uh, you know, and the, uh, the pie plate I call it a pie plate size uh, uh, coiler. That's also old school. I'm actually gonna buy another smaller coil for this, or uh, a double D coil instead of the concentric coil. Uh, not that we have soil issues around here. We don't have any soil problems, so you know the concentric coil works fine for what it does. And over here, uh, the Sovereign. I'm expecting a uh, a new uh, coil for the Sovereign. It's a small coil. Uh, you know, I'd like to use it in some in some trashy areas with no discrimination like I told you earlier uh, so uh, if you see on one of my other videos discrimination in trashy areas so I'm gonna get a small coil for that so that's that's on its arrival on its way from Bulgaria yeah, you know uh, I haven't ordered anything from a while from the uh, from the uh, from anything beyond Bulgaria you know you know there's a, some instability in parts of uh, of the old of the old and the old defunct Soviet Union uh, so uh, but Bulgaria everything seems to be smooth there and it should be here very soon in any case uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you I'm trying to think if I've missed anything but I just wanted to give you some random things uh, I would show you the room a little bit better but it is a holy mess I'm not cleaning up I'm thinning out and I have actually have a chance to get some things uh, done my uh, significant other and love of my life, uh, at least from my perspective, <laughs> and her daughter, they're they're off, uh, they're off, uh, off back home. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I am uh, free to uh, to roam and to do as I please uh, for this weekend. Now, I'm not even stuck on doggy uh, care duty like I usually am when they leave. So, uh, <laughs> so that's great. So, just want to let you know, you know, things are going pretty good. And I'm going to try to end this here longer than I planned to go again. But I thought I'd let you see some things. And uh, so, uh, we'll be, uh, I'll be uh, going back out uh, tomorrow. It's supposed to be dry. So, the rain we had yesterday should make it perfect for plug for plug digging. And uh, I've, I've scouted, I scouted a new park today. And it's one of the six original parks in my area. But once again, we're in the suburbs, so I'm not going to have, I don't have many old parks here. So that's still something I've got to go down south to do when I have the time. In any case, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and uh, I will see you later. I'll actually be doing more digs, but I thought I'd show you a few things, especially the D-Technics. It's got, it got, it's got its beating, and then I went out later 
for a short time and with my TRX so it's equally dirty so I'm gonna get one of these Lysol wipes here in a, in a little in a little damp wag and wipe them off and get them ready for tomorrow in any case it's Texas Tiger Diggs and I will uh, see you later uh, you have a good day and uh, I will uh, see you at the next hunt at the next dig